Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we are talking about test condition, which is again a very important concept to be understood as we do have different similarities to talk about it. When it comes to test conditions, these are the very first thing which are basically derived when you understand a particular requirement or set of requirements. When we are given with a user story or maybe a requirement to be evaluated, during the analysis you understand that what this requirement is all about and what it requires to do as a part of the user interface with the application. Now when it comes to the analysis part, it also helps you to identify certain test conditions which are basically the instructions by which you will be testing it. In simple terms, the test condition can also be defined as it is the various options which a user can perform with help of that particular requirement. For example, if I take a particular requirement as transaction of withdrawing money from an ATM machine. Now this is one of my requirement that a user is capable enough to withdraw the money from the ATM machine. Now this is one thing which is my test condition that a user is trying to withdraw money and definitely may have any number of test cases. Now the test cases can be about trying with various other conditions also. For example, trying with a scenario which is uh, trying to withdraw money without having the balance in your account. That means you're trying to withdraw this amount which is not in your account. Second, trying to withdraw an amount which does not exist in the ATM. Trying to withdraw the amount without having the right PIN. Trying to withdraw the amount with having a right, wrong account setup. For example, is it a saving account or it's a business account? So a lot of these factors will be considered as each of the conditions. So when you identify and understand a particular requirement, you basically come up with various conditions which can actually happen as a part of the scenario with the user when interacting with that particular requirement. And then you break this each test condition identified into simpler test cases to run that. Now that's where test condition is being identified and created. To a certain extent, this condition can also be called as the test scenario and they are no different. It's just that it is a language used in professional world that you call it as test scenarios to be validating the requirement. But the test conditions and test scenarios are exactly the same. So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have any other words with you which you want me to talk about and help you understand the concepts, feel free to drop them below. I'm always here to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.